Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your man, James, a.k.a. JP, back again with the Toy Room. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you had a good time with your family and hope that everyone stayed safe with uh, the whole Black Friday shopping and all the craziness. Uh, I didn't really get too into Black Friday. This right here was really the only thing I kind of wanted, uh, which is the Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable Game Player. So we're going to head and do uh, an unboxing. I already opened it, as you can see. It's already torn apart, but... Uh, we'll do an unboxing and I'll do a little demo for you guys. So uh, this was on sale at Toys R Us uh, for $30. Uh, but I couldn't find it at Toys R Us. Walgreens had it for $35. Normal retail price is about $45 to $50 depending where you go. Uh, but for Walgreens, you do have to have the Walgreens card. If you don't have a card yourself, just you know put in your friend's number who has a card or whatever. But anyways, um, so we'll take a quick look at the packaging here. Uh, this is by AT Games, uh, as you can see right down there. I have the Sega Genesis home console that they released last year, I believe, or the year before that, uh, which this is basically the exact same thing, just in handheld form, and it does come with Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, which um, they also re-released their home console for Black Friday. Uh, same exact thing as this, just the home console with the Mortal Kombat games added in. And down here you see a screenshot or several screenshots of the Mortal Kombat games, as well as Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic 2. And then you got the uh, portable Sega Genesis displayed right here. You see 80 built-in games, but really, it's only 37 games. Well, I guess 40 with the Mortal Kombat. The 40 bonus games are like stupid little mini arcade games, which suck. Um, but you get that. Some of them are actually okay, but you get that. You got Mortal Kombat here. Walgreens put these stupid stickers on here, and I don't want to rip them off because they're like legit adhesive stickers that are going to rip the packaging so i'm leaving those on down here you get the same screenshots and uh, image of sonic over here then on the back you get a list of all the games that you get so what i'll do is i'll do a quick zoom in for you guys all right so if you want to take a look at the games that come on here go ahead and pause it now and pause it now and pause it now and pause it now and up here you just get um, basically a layout of everything that's that comes with it. it. tells you that you can download ROMs and put them on SD cards. It has a rechargeable battery, which is nice. You don't have to use any double A's. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and get this out of the packaging for you guys real quick. Alright, so let's go ahead and flip this up. And this is everything that you get with it if this top would stay up. You get this booklet here that just says Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable Game Player with the image and Sonic AT Games Instruction Manual. And it tells you, you know, just the instructions. What's really nice about this is that if you get some AV cables, you can actually connect this to your TV and use it as a home console, which is pretty nice. So you get the option if you want to play at home or take it on the go. And then uh, basically it just gives you a bio of each and every game that's in here. And then that's really all there is to that. And there's some coupon here. If anyone wants to use this, go ahead. I'm not going to use it. So there's that. Then you get uh, just micro USB to charge it. Then you get the actual console itself uh, that comes with this Sonic the Hedgehog um, little like sticker. And it also came with the screen protector that I took off. Uh, I probably should have cleaned the screen before I did this video. Okay, that's a bit better. As you guys can see, I'm right here. But anyways, uh, it's just a nice white, uh, slim handheld. It kind of feels like a sidekick, if you guys remember that phone from back in the day. That's really what it feels like. But you get the nice D-pad here, speaker port over here, the screen, I think it's 3.2 inches, and then you get the Sega Genesis button layout. You got the start button, the power LED, or the low battery LED. Uh, there is a power LED, I think, somewhere on here. Uh, yeah, right here. So you get the power LED right there. You get the AV out, the USB port, the SD slot, the volume knob, and then down here, you get the headphone jack and the on and off switch. And on the side, there's nothing really going on. And then back here, you get the battery, uh, which you don't need to do anything with it unless your battery goes bad, then you'd replace it. And then just some screws to take this apart. And over here you see Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable Game Player. And that's really it. I don't really like the white. It's going to get dirty. I wish it was black seeing as the Sega Genesis was a black console. 
Um, but you know, this is really nice. It feels really good in hand. And you see here, the D-pad feels really nice. The buttons are really nice. And they're laid out perfectly. You know, so I really like the proportions of this. I feel like it came out really, really nice. All right, so I turned off all the lights uh, so I can go ahead and get a demo going on here. So let's see if we can get this on for you guys. So there you are, boots up, it says AT games, and then you got uh, the, just the list of games, turn the volume up on it. So you get the list of games and you just go through all of them. So if you guys want to see the list of game, uh, the, you know, the games on the list, just pause it as I'm scrolling through it. So that's page one, that's page two, that's page three, four, five. And now, now we're getting into the stupid bonus games. Six, seven, eight. And then page nine is the SD card slot. So you can download ROMs, which is really nice because you get, you know, the entire Sega Genesis library you can get online, put it on an SD card, and play it on the go. Which you could do that with your phone as well. But I like having actual buttons to use instead of a touch screen. It, it's a lot easier to play with. So we'll go ahead and just boot up a game real quick. Um, go ahead and get Sonic the Hedgehog going. Okay, so that's my biggest complaint is this speaker. The speaker on here sucks. Other than that, everything else is really nice. But let's get back into it. And then you just click the menu button to go right back into it. So that's really nice. It's really fast, smooth, and responsive. All right, so overall, I think this is a really cool system. I like the whole portability idea. The only complaint I have about it is the speaker on it. Really, the quality could be a lot better. But, you know, other than that, and you can probably just throw some headphones on and it'll sound a lot nicer. So, yeah, other than that, I really have no complaints about it uh, besides the speaker and the color, which isn't that big of a deal. You know, white or black, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I, I highly recommend this. It's on sale for Black Friday at Toys R Us and Walgreens. It may be available other places. Those are the two that I know of. Um, so yeah, if you find this, I definitely recommend picking it up for $30. It's really a, a steal at that price. The $50 price point um, that it originally retails for, eh, I, I wouldn't spend $50 on it. But $30 is reasonable, or even $35 how uh, Walgreens has it priced. So anyways, that's my quick review, or not really so quick, but that's my review, that's my unboxing, and my demo. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.